O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we'll hear today, in our first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, Vanity of Vanities, All Things Are Vanity. For the times, my dear friends of Christ, you and I have preferred vanity to humility. For the times we have preferred ourselves to God, to loving ourselves so vainly, as opposed to loving God and our neighbor. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these most sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator, and guide, you may restore what you have created, and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and remains with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Kohelet. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils at under the sun? One generation passes, and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises, and the sun goes down. Then it presses on to the place where it rises. Blowing now toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again, resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea. Yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. What has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see this is new has already existed in the ages that preceded us there is no remembrance of the man of old nor of those to come will there be any remembrance among those who come after them the word of the lord in every age o lord you have been my refuge in every age, O Lord, you have been my refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Oh. 
Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John, I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. a phenomenon online when there's a particular video that people are interested in seeing perhaps on YouTube or if there's a particular clip somewhere or some particular site or what's known also as a as a meme that's basically a post people will put to their Facebook Facebook account and it's basically an image of and a saying um, so when these are particularly popular and when more and more and more people want to see them, it goes as what is known as it's going viral. So essentially, it's going from person to person to person to person all through their internet accounts and social media. And people are watching them and then posting them and forwarding them to other people because there's a curiosity. People want to see whatever it is. It could very well be someone who sings very, very well. Uh, Susan Boyle on America's uh, Britain's Got Talent. Uh, she went viral because of her incredible singing when uh, the judges and the entire audience thought that she wouldn't be able to sing a note. Um, these kinds of, of incidents, my dear friends of Christ, are the unexpected surprising people. And because it goes viral, it becomes its own sensation. But also at the same time, in many ways, people are looking at it because it's, it's, there's a curiosity. They're interested only in seeing what this person really can bring them for entertainment purposes um, and for personal fulfillment. And that, my dear friends of Christ, is exactly what Herod the Tetrarch is experiencing in today's gospel. He hears so very much about Jesus, his sayings, his teachings, his compassion, and his miracles. And then he also hears some contradicting accounts. People misinterpret Jesus to be John the Baptist raised back to life, or Elijah the prophet, or, or another prophet. But they do not tell or say that this is the Christ. Herod wonders who Jesus is, but he wonders only who Jesus is out of a mere curiosity, not out of a desire to know the Lord or even to convert his life wholly to him. To have a change of heart, not at all. What it is is more like a court jester or more like a meme on Facebook or a post on YouTube that is going viral. Simply a, a curiosity, something that can fulfill him to his satisfaction, but not fulfill him as is most needed, to fulfill him at the very level of his soul, that he have a conversion of heart. Saints in the making. Herod spends his time keeping, trying to see Jesus. But notice, he only tries to see Jesus, not to hear him, not to obey him, not to listen to him, 
and certainly not to follow him. May our own search for living and following Jesus never be shallow, never be vanity, as we hear from Ecclesiastes today, but instead, my dear friends of Christ, may be from a sincere desire, not just to see Jesus, but to be like Jesus. Filled with hope and trust in the Father, let us join in love. Our let us join in love to present our petitions to Him. For our Holy Father and other church leaders, may the grace of God sustain them as they guide their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in leadership positions throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working for peace instead of war, and charity instead of greed. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who suffer from chronic illness and those who care for them, may the Lord relieve their pain and uplift their spirits. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us, may the hope of Christ burn in our hearts and inspire our sharing of God's message of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed who have left this world to join the communion of saints, May they rejoice in the loving embrace of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. For those petitions we not add in the silence of our hearts. And for the poor souls in purgatory, remembered most especially at today's Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we offer these petitions with gratitude and love, asking you that you might receive them in your gracious mercy, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, true to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, true to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on me. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.
glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Jude, pray for us. The patron saint of our particular parishes, pray for us. Our guardian angels and our patron saints, pray for us. The angel hosts of heaven and all holy men and women, pray for us.